Hi guys, we are at the 46 Tokyo Moto Show and we are at the Subaru stand and what we have here is the WRX STI EJ20 and there are some very ominous words there that means this is the final edition okay so does this mean that this is going to be the last one yeah it's always always the last one before the next one comes out okay what's so great about this car it is a two liter STI version of course and it basically retains about the same dimensions as the previous one but this looks like a latest update and it's all about the power the car is of course all-wheel drive with a turbocharged engine and you get 308 ps okay that's 308 ps from this two liter engine that drives all the four wheels and of course it's a boxer engine lying very low in the front giving it a low center of gravity yeah and engine torque is 422 newton meters 19 inch wheels with six spot Brembo calipers of course with STI branding and also ventilated this and drilled to give it better cooling runs on Yokohama's and Advan Advan Sports yeah okay so this is what tells it apart from others the STI badging and also the skirting along the sides and the front and to the rear wheels you see again uh, these are single pot but uh, also looks like fixed caliper yeah fixed calipers so high performance brakes and over at the back we have again the famous chicken wing wing yeah and and wow four four tailpipes and also a diffuser and a little mini spoiler for rear effect yeah and then you see this is a beautiful piece of machinery man everything is neat and in its place and let's look at the inside of the car and starting from the front yes it's a six-speed manual yes and there's a mechanical handbrake isn't that fantastic and of course they have the STI seats that we all look for in the Tong Chai Po, yeah, the half cut shops in Malaysia, yeah, and it has, of course, the uh, traction control and, of course, the start stop button, yeah, for engine. And it's a manual, so don't expect to have any pedal shifters. And, of course, steering is adjustable for reach and also for height. And handbrake is on the correct side. This car is built for right-hand drive. So the handbrake is next to the driver. Fantastic. For once, there's a car that's built for right-hand drive. Okay, analog meters. You can't see them, but I can see them. Yep, uh, analog. And also, this is the part that people want to see lah, to buy. Yeah, that's the screen. But who the hell cares about screen? Sorry, sorry. But who cares about screen? Yeah? This is a car that you buy for the performance and then they have Wow Auto Manual Center diff On off lock plus minus Ooh Intelligent SI drive Sport sharp Wow Those are things driving modes you can dial in I suppose And uh, Interior is nice and black nothing much to boast about but uh, there is a bit of soft plastics here and there the field is quite okay and there's something in the middle there I think is some meters of some sort but who really cares man what you want in this car is the performance I would drive this car even if we had no seats yeah if no seats it means there'll be a roll cage and there will be racing okay so this is a basic C segment sedan except for the performance numbers yeah so the back seats uh, echo the front seats kind of like two-tone leather and well for most people these seats will go off anyway and oh yeah there's uh, this uh, anti what you call crash lock see this part and this part interlock yeah let's see it again yeah when this part goes into there 
it locks into that hole there and so if there is a crash for example if there was a side impact the door wouldn't cave in yeah so that is called the I don't know what they call it but it's a safety feature for side impact protection okay so there you have it this is we're not going to bother with the boot and spare tire and this and all that well the car is 1.5 tons with uh, 308 horses and 422 newton meters of top well there's still a lot you can do because uh, but in because people like to do things to their cars but in standard form this car is potent enough all right okay we are at the subaru stand and we are just in time to catch the girls posing for a photo and we are just standing by tumpang glory only we're not going to talk much about cars right now but anyway that is a brz race car and these are the race queens so there you have it and now we look at the car and this is the brz densu subaru uh, this is for saloons racing right yes sir racing car beautiful thank you so can you tell me something about the engine on this car okay all right but it's a beautiful car thank yes. you very much all right oh yeah there it is the brz gt 300 okay you have it's a two liter 350 ps at 6000 rpm and 45 kilogram force yeah or uh, per meter okay uh, the weight of this car very light 1150 it's a front engine rear drive and transmission is a six series sequential yeah okay the horsepower is 350 ps or more and that's it uh, ab racing brakes and these are yeah the brakes are huge so you can see the cross cut brakes AP racing Dunlop tires and the roll cage inside so the inside is stripped bare just one driver sitting on the right I love it because it's right hand drive and these are the rear brakes just as big but the calipers are a bit smaller Okay, this is a GT300 and looking at the back it's a huge car okay not for climbing slopes because the rear diffuser is really big and and it's really close to the ground and the tires actually extend way out beyond the body yeah okay so guys I hope you enjoyed this video of the BRZ GT300. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.